Coral reefs are widely regarded as one of the most vulnerable ecosystems to ocean acidification. Retrospective studies like Coral Cores show widespread declines in coral and community calcification over the last several decades. But determining the contribution of ocean acidification to these declines is difficult due to confounding factors of other environmental parameters, like changes in temperature or water quality. To understand whether ocean acidification is already impairing coral reef growth, our goal was to restore seawater chemistry on a coral reef to conditions that would have existed approximately 100 years ago and measure the calcification rate to see how the reef responded. In doing this, we wanted to produce changes in chemistry that were not correlated with temperature or other environmental parameters, allowing us to really isolate the effects of seawater chemistry on coral reef calcification. To do this, we conducted a series of 22 experiments on a coral reef in Australia's Great Barrier Reef, where we used sodium hydroxide to increase the total alkalinity of seawater flowing over a reef flat with the aim of increasing the carbonate ion concentration and the aragonite saturation state closer to values that would have been attained under pre-industrial atmospheric PCO2 levels. Each day we deployed a 15,000 liter tank just upstream of our study site and we filled that tank with ambient seawater and then we manipulated the chemistry inside of the tank using sodium hydroxide. We then pumped that solution onto the reef flat and allowed it to flow over the reef for about one hour, at which point we measured the rate of calcification. So normally, to measure calcification, you measure the change in total alkalinity as seawater traverses a reef, and you use that change to calculate a calcification rate. In our study, we wanted to control for mixing and dilution as our experimental seawater flows over the reef flat. So we developed a technique where we added a passive dye tracer at the same time as adding the sodium hydroxide and used the dye to control for mixing and dilution. So instead of looking at the change in alkalinity before and after the water flows over the reef, we calculated the change in alkalinity to dye ratios, allowing us to isolate the fraction of the alkalinity change that was due to our experimental conditions. Using this approach, we calculate that an average of 17% of the added alkalinity was taken up by the reef community, inferring a 7% increase in net community calcification. So these results are significant for two main reasons. For one, this study represents the first seawater chemistry manipulation experiment of a natural coral reef community, really allowing us to move beyond laboratory experiments to understand responses in the natural environment. And second, our results suggest that reefs may have been calcifying more quickly 100 years ago than they are today, providing evidence that the effects of ocean acidification may already be underway.